What's up guys, my name is Karol and welcome to Ads Courses, a channel where we can learn the best digital marketing secrets and web analytics tricks. If you ever analyze auction insights in Google Ads, I'm sure you struggled with analyzing your competitors in time. Today you will learn a secret way to quickly create auction insight reports in Google Ads. You will be able to track in time your competitors with charts for metrics like impression share and average position. If you want to watch more tutorials like that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's begin. When you analyze Auction Insight reports in Google Ads interface, you can do it on an account level, campaign level, ad group level, or keywords level. But the problem when you analyze Auction Insights in the interface is that you can't track your competitors in time. You will only see an average metrics from the period of time that you selected. And today I'm going to show you a secret solution that will allow you to track your competitors in time. We're going to use a Google spreadsheet script created from Brain Labs. So thank you Brain Labs for creating this script. So I'm going to show you how to create reports like that right now. And using this method, you can create reports on an account level, campaign level, ad group or keywords level also. In this example, I'm going to create a report from last 30 days and I'm going to include two similar campaigns. I can show you the actual names here because of the privacy, but let's say I want to track competitors from these two campaigns. Okay, so I select these campaigns and I go to the auction insights. Okay, and this is how you normally see auction insights reports in Google Ads interface. So you can see the impression share, average position, overlap rate in this period of time, but these are only the averages, right? So you can see how these metrics of your competitors changed in time. And this is actually a big problem because this is only an average. I can see, for example, what actions IKEA took in this period of time. But using this method, you can actually track your competitors using the script. Okay, so when you're in the Auction Insights tab, click here on the download. And this is important, select more options. Don't just select the file format right away. Go here. And here you select the Google Sheets, for example. And this is also very important, you add a segment. And it could be a day, a week, a month. It all depends on what kind of reports you want to generate. If you want to analyze a whole year, you would go with the weeks or months. I want to create a report from last 30 days, so I'll go with days. Okay, now just uncheck this summary rows here and hit download. Okay, so my file is ready to view. So just click here, open the sheet. And here's the generated report. But right now, let's open the report template that I will put a link in the description of this video. Okay, so this is the template file. Make sure to make a copy of it. So simply go here in the file and make a copy. So it will be available only for you. Okay, if you want to see the actual script, you can find it in Tools, Script Editor. And here's the code of the actual script from Brain Labs. You can change a date format in here, or you can change your currency symbol in here. Okay, so we're back in the uh, template file. And what you can see here, you have this first tab. This is the tab where you put all the data from the report that we just generated before. And we have other tabs like impression share, average position, overlap rate. I will show them later in the video. So now let's get back to our generated report. Okay, so this is the report that we've generated from the Google Ads interface, from the insights. And what you have here, you have a day segment, you have a display domain. So this, these are your competitors and you, and you have all the other metrics. So what you want to do here is copy the data. So simply click here on the first row. You don't have to copy the column names. And now select Control Shift plus bottom arrow. And now Control Shift and right arrow. Okay, so we've selected all the data. Now copy go back to our template report file and go to the first tab here, the sheet one, and copy all your data like this. And now when you go to the other tabs, you will see reports and charts. Okay, so we're in the first report and this is an impression share chart. And you can see here impression share from your domain and also your competitors. And here you can see your competitors, the legend of this chart, and the black line is actually you. So this is the impression share and these are the days, right? 
So this is great. And here in the second tab, the average position, you can actually track average position of you and your competitors in time from these 30 days. So here we can see that we fight with media marked over the first position. Okay, so let's go to another report, the overlap rate. So the overlap rate will tell you how often another participant, so the competitor's ad received an impression when your ad also received an impression. So you can't actually see your domain here. These are only the competitors. Okay, another tab will be the position above rate. And this chart will show you a percentages when participants ad was shown on a higher position than yours. So we can see the media market is our top competitor. Okay, another one is a top of a page rate. And this will show you when your competitors ads received impressions and how often it appeared at the top of a page above the search results. And here you can see also you as the black line. And the last one is our ranking share. And this one will show you how often your ad ranked higher in the auction than another competitor's ad or uh, when your ad showed when theirs did not. Okay, so here you also don't see yourself, you only see the competitors. And that's it. This is a great solution to track your competitors in time, something that you can't do in the Google Ads interface. So I highly recommend to actually analyze the impression share, average position the most. The only disadvantage of using this method is that you need to actually generate a report from Google Ads interface and paste it in the template file every time you want to refresh your data. But it still only takes about two minutes, so it's not a big deal. I will post a link to this template file in the description of this video and make sure that you will make a copy of this file before you make any changes. I'm sure that this report will give you a huge advantage over your competitors in search network. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under this video. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're hungry for more digital marketing knowledge and see you in my other videos.